Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor, and today we'll be talking about definite integrals. In problem number 45, uh, I have if the definite integral from 0 to 1 of x cubed minus 2x dx is negative 3 over 4, then I'd like to find two different definite integrals. The first one is the integral from 0 to 1 of 4x minus 2x cubed dx. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to manipulate this thing to look like this guy and then use this information to find the definite integral. So notice that it's already okay on the limits. The limits here are from 0 to 1 and the limits here are from 0 to 1. So we're okay on our limits of integration. So what we should do is look at the rest. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1. But now let's just rewrite this a little bit. Notice up here that the x cubed term comes first and the x term comes second. Here they're reversed. So I'm just going to flip them around really quick. And I'm going to say that this is minus 2x cubed plus 4x dx, which I could rewrite. This is integral from 0 to 1 of... Uh, now I could factor out a negative 2, because up here I just have an x cubed. Here I have a negative 2x cubed. So if I factor out the negative 2, I could factor it out of the parentheses, and then I could factor it all the way out of the integral sign. So I'm going to factor out a negative 2. So let's rewrite this. This is equal to negative 2. And in here now I have an x cubed, and if I take negative 2 out of 4, then it leaves me with negative 2x. So I factored a negative 2 out of this parentheses to give me this dx. And now if I look up here, that's exactly what I know. I know the integral from 0 to 1 of x cubed minus 2x dx, and I know that it's negative 3 fourths. So this ends up being negative 2, negative 2, times negative 3 fourths which would be positive 6 fourths, or if you prefer, 3 over 2. So the answer to part A would be 3 halves. For part B, I, can, I look at the limits of integration, and they don't match up. This one's going from 1 to 0. This one's going from 0 to 1. So the first thing that I would do is let's flip that. Okay. If I flip it, then I get the integral from 0 to 1, but I have to add that negative sign out in front of the integral for flipping the limits of integration. Now, inside, I have 2x minus x cubed, which is close to what I have here, but they're written in the wrong order, so let's reverse it, and it's negative x cubed plus 2x dx which isn't exactly what I'm looking for, but it is close. What I need to do is I need to factor a negative 1 out of these two to make it look like this. So if I factor out a negative 1, I could factor it out of the parentheses. I could factor it all the way out of the integral sign. So that negative is going to come out and cancel the negative that's already out there. So I'm just going to end up with the integral from 0 to 1 of x cubed minus 2x dx. So I factored out a negative 1. It came all the way out here, canceled this negative, so I get a positive. Now I have this guy, but that's exactly what I started with. And so the answer is negative 3 fourths. And we're done. 